Yeah. Okay, hello, my name is Sami. I'm from Helsinki, Finland. And I'm traveling with my buddies, my girlfriend Vivi and Olli. Yeah, my name is Olli. I'm also from Finland, Helsinki, just like Sami. And my name is Vivi. I'm from Finland as well. Uh, we've been here in Kathmandu for five to six days now and uh, so far the best thing for me has been the food but little tips don't it wasn't good for me to drink water from the can because I got food poisoned but I love these temples we have been to monkey temple and uh, Ashupati which was very interesting and now we are here in, uh, in this square we haven't had experienced a lot here. It's uh, the first building where we went, but it's uh, kind of like interesting to see how damaged are damaged are all the temples after the earthquake. And it's kind of I really hope that the entrance fee fee money really goes to rebuilding, and uh, it could be like back in the days, hopefully. Yeah, for me the experience has been also pretty positive, uh, the food is great, uh, I've never been in a culture like in here, just, just uh, Nepal, so it's, it's nice to see different, different cultures and uh, we are going to have this trek in him uh, in Annapurna, Annapurna circuit, we are just looking forward to it also because I think we are here for the food but also the, for the mountains and, and the nature. And, uh... I would like to also add that I was quite surprised, like I know that Nepal is a poor country, but I know that they have a, had a lot of tourists for many years, but still uh, I sometimes wonder where the money actually goes, because people here, uh, some of them have really tough life, but still uh, we are really happy. People are very nice. Yeah. Yeah. I love Nepalese people. Yeah. We hope that uh, the entrance be does really go to the reconstruction of the temples because they are really amazing and, and uh, a recommendation yeah. for tourists. Oh, sorry. <laughs> yeah, I, I would like to recommend, like, for for example, to eat in a local places, not go to the places that are only recommended by TripAdvisor, because the food that you can find from the, for example, from the vegetarian restaurants, it's just plain awesome. And also, Monkey Temple and. Uh, site that you can see whole Kathmandu, I would uh, warmly recommend that. And also this area seems pretty interesting and uh, you can either hire a guide or then or if you don't hire a guide you, you can look for information from the internet and from these uh, papers that they give you so you can really get to know the place and really just get to know the locals. They're very kind and very nice people. So. That's my recommendations for Kathmandu. Yeah, I think in here in Nepal you can feel the real culture, actually. You can experience it. There's no... It's so real, real. Everything is so real here, I think. And people are... People are just so... People are so quite polite and everything. So uh, if, if I would recommend it to Nepal somebody, it would be the culture and the experience, of course. The and it's not too cold in January. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Uh, my name is Ranjan Mishra. I've been working at Kathmandu Garbage Square as Hanuman Loka to no, no, no. This day we do have really less foreigners are visit, not like compared to last year. They may have two regions. They may have two regions, that's why the less foreigners are visit. One may can be repeat order earthquake in Nepal. That's why foreigners are really scared to travel to this country. Other region may be our fuel price by the Nepal India borders. So that's why the foreigner concept they feel like uh, most of the restaurant uh, could be closed, there is no gas how they cook. May they don't have that much fuel, they cannot be driving transport uh, in the street. So that's the reason also this day we have less foreigners. So we like to message that foreign guests who visit Nepal, please do come, life, life is normal, now everything is better. And to support the people who live with that occupation, like hotel, restaurant, travel office, like me as I do guide. Hi, we're the um, Pengeli family and we're from Perth, Western Australia. We've been in Kathmandu for four or five days and we're leaving in five days time after trekking through India and then up through Pokhara and here. Um, I don't, what, what are your experience? What's, 
our yeah, experience. I think it, it's good. It's um, friendly people. Uh, fairly, fairly quiet. It's not too hectic in the traffic or anything. Um, I was here three years ago before the earthquake, and I think it's a shame, but it's still good. It's still, it's still fun. I still really enjoy it here. Uh, in comparison to India, Nepal is an absolute haven for tourists. It's, people are very, very friendly. Uh, generally, it's a very, very clean city and, and country. The people are, are beautiful. Um, not, a, not many people begging for money, which is good, um, or hassling you to buy things. I think it's a real shame. I think the biggest impact for me as a tourist is the power outages and the lack of, that's causing right. a lack of hot water. So that's my my biggest um, impact. So, but, the, and of course, the, the devastation of all the buildings and the loss of life from the earthquake is horrendous. So, yeah, it would have been would have been lovely to see Kathmandu in its uh, pre-earthquake glory. When the crises of the power and the petrol are sorted out, I think it'll be a lot easier. There'll be hot water, no power cuts, um, cheaper taxis, yeah, cheaper taxis, be cheaper. able to get around easier. Yeah. yeah. Um, but I think that's the only thing, really. Yeah, probably cheaper taxis and cheaper flights. We went on a um, an Everest sightseeing joy flight, and it was very expensive because I understand because of the fuel crisis. Um, yeah, so if, if the petrol situation and the um, impacting on the electricity, etc., if that was sorted, it'd be great. Better than great. Um, it is great. <laughs> it is great. But yeah, just and yeah, that, that's it for me. Yeah, yeah, they're the only yeah. problems I think. It's awesome. It's and, good. and it would be lovely um, for Nepal to really sell itself overseas. Like for Australians, it's relatively quick and easy to come here and not that expensive. So if uh, the Nepalese tourist board were to um, really sell itself. I think the tourist dollar would really impact the economy greatly. Hello, my name is Matthew Hale and I'm from Sydney, Australia, I'm visiting the beautiful Kathmandu in Nepal. This is my second time here and I really, really enjoyed coming back. It's been quite a, a sad experience seeing the difference from before the earthquake to after the earthquake, especially walking around here in Durbar Square. But it's lovely to see that the locals are still around and, and going about their day-to-day -day activities. Um, regardless of the, of the damage that's been caused. Um, from my perspective, it's always lovely being a tourist here in Nepal. There's a really nice feeling, a nice vibe about the place that you don't really get in many other countries. Um, and every, everybody is really friendly, really happy. Sometimes they uh, can be a little pushy. They try to sell, sell you things. But that's all part of being a, being a tourist in, in, in a country like this. And it's, I think it's, it gives it a really nice character, to be honest. I, I, I enjoy the interactions with the locals. Very, very friendly. Um, and I think Nepal has so much amazing, um, so many amazing experiences to offer tourists that really, uh, to get more tourists here, there just needs to be more word out there of how many amazing things you can do here. I mean, the mountains are just incredible. Um, but also the cities, they have the, the very unique feeling about them as you're walking around. I mean, for me, I, I know many, many people back home would absolutely love it here if only they knew a bit more about it. Yeah. Uh, I suppose one area that uh, would be, uh, that could be improved, that would be good to get more tourists, would be um, some uh, more of the infrastructure that, that, that might be needed. So some of the, the roads connecting the cities, um, if they were perhaps made a little safer or a little um, uh, more maintained, then it would, a tourist might be more confident about travelling from between place to place as opposed to flying, for example. Um, also, um, I don't want to say too many bad things, like the clean, cleaning the streets is perhaps one thing as well, but again, it's part of the, it's just a cultural thing here as well. So I think as Westerners we need to be quite um, accepting of the way that things are here rather than 
describing the way that we think the ball should be.